Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Goodsmella Carlos, and I'm here with Mr. Sergio Momo of Jerjoff. We're going to do a little uh, question and answer here, get to know each other. Absolutely. Great, I'm great to be here. Thanks very much for inviting me. Great to be in Brooklyn. Great to be in Twisted Lily. First time. Awesome. Looking great. Looking fantastic. All right, so we prepared a couple of questions here. Yeah. When did you become inspired to start creating perfumes? That was about 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean that 10 years ago I started to be into perfume. Mm -hmm. I, I always been into perfume. My father was very much into perfume, so was my grandmother. So it's always been running in the family, okay. the passion. But about 10 years ago, we, I really started to think that I could make a business out of it, so yeah, about 10 years. How ago. old is Georgeoff been in existence? I beg your pardon? How many years has the company been? Sergeoff has been nine years now, so... Zergeoff, so I've been saying Georgeoff, so I'm saying it... Sergeoff, yeah. Sergeoff. Like Sergeoff. And corrected by the man himself. <laughs> All right. With so many perfume houses being introduced yearly, how do you keep Georgeoff viable and one step ahead of the rest? Well, um... As you know, Sergeoff is um, what we call a brand umbrella. I mean, that uh, talking about Sergeoff, that means talking about a portfolio mm -hmm. of different collection. So all the collections kind of have a house, uh, life on their own. Okay. Um, so every collection has a section line, um, have novelties. So obviously, by just making the family grow, mm -hmm. uh, we always have something interesting to, to launch into the, into the market. So I think novelties. Is, I was always is confused. Is Suspiro on its own or is it Zerjoff Suspiro? Suspiro is on its own. It's another brand. It's on its own. So yeah. today I'm not wearing Zerjoff Herba Pura. I'm wearing Suspiro Perfume Herba Pura. Correct. See? Correct. Do you smell it? Do you like it? Indeed. Yes. I got quite a few compliments today. All right. So um, what classic fragrances inspire you the most? Um, I have to say Arpege because that was my grandmother okay. um, perfume and I think definitely Guerlain. So Aparelland, uh, it was one of my favorites, um, it's Soku as well. So mm -hmm. that was definitely those perfume which inspired me most and still, they still do actually. All right. Have any famous paintings or works of art inspired any of your perfumes? If not, what one piece of artwork would you like to create an old factory version of? Um, I've been studying work, uh, arts uh, during my school time, and I think that Caravaggio was the, the, the painter which mm -hmm. he was uh, creating for me the most emotion. The, I mean, the, the, the painting, the colors, and the, the play with lights, and mm -hmm. so on. So I think that any of the Caravaggio painting, I would like to create a perfume on it. Awesome. Yes. So it's creating, recreating the drama mm -hmm. of, of the painting itself, yes. So you're here in New York City, and it's been very hot, the hottest that it's been all summer. Sorry for the humidity <laughs> yeah. that, that landed when you landed here that was here for you. What does New York City smell like to you? If you were to create a New York City-inspired perfume, what one note would you choose to start it with? Or well, more? To start with, I would think that I would use the birch, so the leather note. Mm -hmm. uh, that is because maybe of the traffic and the, and the hype. Um, so the leathery note is the first thing you spring into my mind. But then it obviously it depends which part of New York, which part of Manhattan mm -hmm. uh, you are. So obviously if you go to Central Park, it's a different story. But uh, I would say yes. For me, the leather notes are the that one which... That sounds about right. Uh, you use that note in the, in the, the, the home? The, the first, one of the first? Yeah, home. Yeah, it's very... In the 1717, birch. that's right. Yeah. Yes. All right. We did that one. Oh, if you were to create a fragrance that identifies you, Mr. Momo, as an individual, what would the notes be in that perfume? Well, this is a done job. It's home. I said ah, it, it, it was speaking of... <laughs> It was, uh, when we first created, when I first created Sergeoff, um, it, it wasn't meant to be a business. We mm -hmm. created something just for, uh, for myself, just to, to give to a few friends. Or oh, is that right? No, that, that is absolutely true. There was no commercial idea behind, there was no budget or anything like that. We were just creating Home and L. 
Um, it, it wasn't actually in the stone label. They were made in Murano. They were mm -hmm. made in semi-precious stone. So it was something which, which it was just for a few friends and for a collection. Then it happened that somebody uh, advised us to make a presentation in Russia, and from them, and, you know. So was Russia it. was one of your first markets. Very much so. Very much so. Oh. Yes. Yes. It was because of a presentation in Moscow a long time ago. Then everything started. Because somebody, uh, one of your fans asked me. I, they were aware that I'm meeting you. If the Russian exclusive Pikaya Dam, Pikaya Dama, is that going to be available here anytime soon? Uh, I told her probably not, but no, no, no. All right, no, we, we need to stay faithful to our promises. Okay. So that's this. Uh, it's actually only. I respect a, that. It's, it's only. It's only a duty free. It's only a duty free actually okay. exercise. What so, is that perfume like? Uh, musk. Musk. So, yeah, it's a rich musky uh, perfume. Yeah. All right. Is there a note, any particular note that you find problematic or that you just don't like to use in your particular perfumes? Or uh, no, no, really. I mean, we we do we do experimentation all the time. So uh, I'm not part. I I've never been particularly in love with tuberose, but now I'm kind of a changing my mind, which is good. Um, Has have you used any, anything with? Uh, no, but I will. Awesome. I will. Actually, I, we're I working it. I like tuberose, so. I'm there when you create it. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no, no. I mean, I, I, as I said, I'm changing my mind, which I think is good, and uh, we are working on it. So quite soon. I mean, a lot of people to... love it, a lot of people don't love it, but I, I think, I, I think in a George Roth two bros would, sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think that we need to... We, <laughs> or or two bros based. Like you rightly said, we need to give it a surge of twist into it, mm -hmm. definitely, but we are working on it and we will be there. All right. Being in the luxury and niche market, would you ever consider selling your perfumes in high-end department stores such as Barney's or Bergdorf's? Well, yes. Why not? Um, Sergeoff has, uh, as we said at the beginning, uh, is a portfolio of seven different collections. So not everything is actually suitable to any kind of retailer or market. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that some of the Sergeoff uh, collection could be, could be seen and, uh, have you ever been approached, or have you been wanting yes. to keep it exclusive to yes. to niche stores? We 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 are being approached. I mean, I, I would imagine we, we 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 are thinking about it. Obviously, I mean, our our customers in uh, in Russia, in the Middle East, in Europe, in London, mm -hmm. and so on, are the same customer actually. Uh, probably shops in here, but in shops in Bergdorf as well. So I mean, we. Do yeah, you have a Middle not? Eastern exclusive? Yeah, I don't know. No, in the Middle East, we have our own boutique. Okay. Uh, in uh, Dubai Mall. But there's no uh, fragrance exclusive to that boutique. No. Just, uh, no. Exclusive. Exclusive are in uh, are in London, are in uh, Germany. And uh, I mean, sometimes some retailer they come to us and say, "Look, you know, we we really like the idea of mm -hmm. having something exclusive, so we work on it." If, if it you mentioned seven lines. Um, I know of um, I know of um, the shooting stars. Yeah. The, uh, Casa Moratti. Casa Moratti. The 1717. Sospiro. No, no, Sospiro is not Sergio. So oh, right. We, didn't we establish that already? Don't I listen? Uh, Sorry. It's the heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the heat. <laughs> yeah, then we have, yeah, we have Wood Stars. Then we had XJ Oud, which is just, uh, I saw it before. Um, it's the Oud. Oud line. Oh, the, uh, yeah. the Atars. The Atars, yes. Um, you had the JTC. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we have Which 20. is the more affordable-ish... You know, price point. I this think one. it's JTC. Yes, yes, JTC. There's quite a few good ones in there, like Ivory Route. I like a lot. More than words is a good one. Nice rooms. I haven't, I haven't played with these, but I, I really want to. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, it aim to a particular customers, which they like. Yeah, Richwood is one of my favorites, all-time favorites. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, I remember you saying that. Love, Absolutely. love, love. All right. Um, okay. I like oh. this kind of a Bob Dylan <laughs> games. <I> like <laughs> Do you watch YouTube reviews? How do you feel about YouTube reviews and and blog reviews, but no, mainly YouTube? Uh, yeah, I, I I watch. I mean, I can't swear I actually managed to see them all, but mm -hmm. yes, I do. I do watch them, and I think that uh, YouTube is uh, I mean, it's an interesting uh, media, an interesting way of communicating. Um, my I, I mean, my, my only advice is to use YouTube the same way you use the press print or whatever with a constructive. Yeah, uh, and positive uh, approach. Even if even if the outcome is not positive, it needs mm -hmm. to be constructive. There's, so I always believe there's a way of saying something. Yeah, that's. I think that's you know, important. You 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 can you can outright dislike something, but you don't have to say it in such a, a, a mean. But that's that's just me, you know. And and some reviewers like to go straight for the for the gut, and and that's their style. But um, I, I think overall YouTube is definitely a, a 
an important uh, it is important. means of it, reviews it, it, and getting word out there about niche lines and what have you. Correct. It is, it is very important. I, like you rightly said, I mean, we're talking about perfume, so whoever likes to be in this universe is because it, they got some sort of sense, extra different sensibility about mm -hmm. things. So I think they need to be sensible as well when they describe and when they, they put their own opinion to it. So that's, I think mm -hmm. that is important. For the rest of it, I think YouTube is great, yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, we're winding down here. We, let's see. What are your personal favorites from your collection? This is a difficult question because it's like, you know, when you have 10 kids and you it's say, like you know. It's like Sophie's choice, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it is difficult. No, no, I, I don't think I'm ready to answer to that one. I okay. think that is, uh, you you the, the, the thing is, when I decide that the, a, a perfume is good enough to be out there and mm -hmm. talk about Sergio, first of all, because we have our own philosophy, and then talk about the collection which is part of, JTC, mm -hmm. Casa Morati, Shooting Stars, whatever. I think it's, it's my choice to say, this is good enough to represent this. So uh, he's, he's another son, he's another daughter, so mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a, a, a favorite one. It's part of the family. So you stand behind all of your wonderful collections, as so you should, because you have quite a collection. I think yeah. I um, missed one about um, are there any plans to offer your product in smaller size bottles such as 30 mil or travel sets? Yeah, yeah, we are working on that. Um, uh, as you can imagine, it's quite difficult to come up with a kind of a simple solution because, mm -hmm. because obviously we need to make a different approach in, uh, according to the different collections. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, we are, we are working on that. And actually, uh, I, give you, I tell you something that very few knows. We are working on the toiletry line for Casamorati. So we're going to have, uh, hopefully for Christmas, uh, body line like body cream, right. body lotion, shower gels, awesome. and maybe candles as well. I, and I, I think that so, would lend itself well to the Casamorati line. Indeed, indeed. So the Casamorati family is, is becoming uh, important from under that point of view as well. Awesome. So we are working on that as well. Um, IFRA, we all know about IFRA and their damn restrictions and what have you. Has it affected any of your perfumes? If so, w did you reformulate? Would you reformulate or would you ever discontinue a product that's already established in your line because of one of their restrictions? This is a very important issue. Uh, so far, so far we haven't been, uh, let's say, hit by this problem. Um, if bioreformulating meaning it means to change the quality and the result of the product, of course, it will be taken out. So, so you would discontinue? Okay. Oh yeah, of course, of course. And I mean, I don't think compromise on quality is, is, is something that we don't take in consideration. This is a, a very important question to my friend Frankenator, because he makes sure I asked, I asked the question, okay, Frank? <laughs> all right, so um, we have a... Thank you very much. You're welcome. For your honesty and all, it was a pleasure talking with you. We have some stuff here that's not available in the US that Sergio was kind enough to bring with him. What do we got?